A team of four doing a risky test flight in outer space gets hit with an intense exposure of cosmic rays, mutating their bodies and giving them each their own unique superhuman abilities. Deciding to use their powers for the good, they become the Fantastic Four. What is cosmic radiation? So cosmic radiation is ionizing radiation. Um, when you hear the word cosmic radiation, you're talking about these very high energy uh, gamma uh, uh, sources which can be produced naturally in the sun through its nuclear fusion process or can be uh, produced by uh, supernova which send out just these massive gamma ray bursts and sometimes travel across the entire galaxy or even from other galaxies and, and can make it to the surface of the Earth in quantities enough for us to, to measure here even though they've been in transit for millions of years in some cases. And most of it's from the Sun because the Sun's just the closest producer of that. Called the solar wind. If you talk to scientists you might hear the term of solar wind. It's the radiation flowing out from the Sun out into the universe. It's a tremendous amount of radiation people don't think about every day because none of it, a, lot, a good chunk of it does not hit the earth. It's deflected by something you may have heard of the Van Allen belt, okay? And how does that mutate the cells of the body to produce superpowers is a physical explanation I, I can't see. I'm, I'm not going to say you can't manipulate cells to allow you to be elastic and, and stretch and everything. I can't see the physical manifestation of that and I don't see even if there was an explanation how an event with a cosmic ray could just cause just the exact mutations that would make all that work. It's a nice thought process and it makes for fun comics, but again, physically you can't explain that phenomena in any cogent fashion or anything that we've observed. They are real, they're out there, and when you are in outer space, you are exposed to a great deal more cosmic radiation than you are here on Earth because you don't have the protective layer of the atmosphere between you and those cosmic sources. So um, uh, that's one thing that the comic book gets right. Um, they, they are exposed to higher doses of cosmic rays. Uh, again, the amounts that they would be exposed to on a short trip would generally not have uh, any health effect at all, uh, even, uh, even long term uh, if it's a short trip into space. But it's a very real consideration that they're looking at for astronauts who, for example, would take a trip to Mars in the future where you're talking about a multi-year trip um, and they, they are looking at ways to shield the astronauts from the cosmic rays over the duration of that trip because it's a, a very important thing. But again, no superpowers conveyed and in that particular case, probably uh, no negative effects either.